Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this episode, we'll be addressing some issues regarding fitness to dive and medication. We received the following letter from a member. I've booked my paddy open water course for next month in Sudwana and was going over the medical statement and ended up answering yes to prescription medication. I'm really excited about getting diving and hope that won't be a problem. I've tried to search online to determine if my medication could have negative effects and have come up empty, so I was hoping someone at Dan could help out. I'm a 33-year-old male in good health and the medication is Valdoxin, which contains agomelatine, Stressam, which contains Etoxaphene, and Concerta, which contains Methylphenidate. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for asking this uh, question about medication and diving. And I want to answer it using our classic threefold Venn diagram of thinking about this. We think about diving, the medication, and the condition that's being treated. Now the diving, of course, you were referring to Sudwana. Sudwana is fair weather diving for the most part. Sometimes the boat launches can be a bit rough, but on the whole, uh, the diving is fairly benign. So the diving isn't a particular problem here. The second issue is the underlying illness or disease or disorder. Based on the medication, the, it seems, it would appear that the underlying diagnosis is that of possibly an anxious depression, major depression or sleep disturbance of some kind, including a difficulty to concentrate. There are concerns about these medications for various reasons, the underlying condition being one of them, but as I said the third part, the medication part, also needs uh, to be considered. As far as the melatonin derivative, the valdoxin is concerned, it has a very short half-life and is unlikely to affect you if taken at night, uh, which is how it's prescribed. The stressam uh, refers to a somewhat mood stabilizing and perhaps slightly sedating medication, which on the offhand I would not be particularly concerned about but what does bother me is the uh, concerta. The concerta or methylphenidate is required for attention deficit or for concentration purposes and if taking it as an adult then uh, there would be a significant reason to do so. There are various dosages and it is possible of course to take a so-called holiday from uh, that medication over the weekends for instance or over a period of a couple of days diving but the two important questions are whether one is able to concentrate adequately and be situationally aware without the medication and of course being trained while on the medication so these are all questions that a diving medical practitioner should answer it would be unfair to you and also to other divers that may be on these uh, medicines to give you a blanket answer because we work in shades of grey not black and white but on the whole these are medicines that we certainly flag as potentially dangerous depending on the type of diving and the underlying condition and whether or not the medication may be discontinued. Thank you very much for asking this question and until the next Frequently Asked Question episode, safe diving.